In this video, I am going to share with you the best technique to heal your inner child and change your specific person. So you might be wondering, what do these two things got to do with each other? But you will find out as you watch this video. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of this video. So basically, as Neville Goddard says, there is no one to change but self. So first of all, we are going to start by talking about your inner child. So the way this technique works is very, very simple. Many times in life, we feel certain emotions, uncomfortable emotions, nice emotions. But so many times when we feel something that we wouldn't like to feel, we feel uncomfortable, we feel scared, we feel worried, we feel anxious. So many times we try to distract ourselves. We try to go away from feeling those feelings. And you know, inside all of us, there is that little child, that little inner child, that little girl, little boy, or a little human being that needs your attention your love and your care. So try this the next time you're feeling some type of emotion that you wouldn't like to feel at all. Just bring your conscious awareness to that feeling. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? And then imagine that little child, like he or she, like, they are right there with you. And you can imagine that this little child is the one who is actually experiencing this uncomfortable emotion. Let's say you are afraid, feeling worried about something. You're scared that your specific person is never going to want to be with you again. If you're afraid of that, then Imagine that there is this little child, your inner child, who is feeling this fear. They are scared. And also imagine that they are the one who is coming to you. They are coming to you and they are telling you, they are showing you that, hey, I'm scared. This is how I feel. And that's going to help you to take a little bit of distance from that feeling. Like, there is always a reason why you're feeling a certain way. There is always a reason to it. And that is why it is okay to feel whatever you're feeling right now. It is absolutely okay. It is allowed to feel. You're allowed to feel whatever you're feeling right now. And this inner child, they need you. And the second part of the technique is actually a visualization or a meditation where you're going to close your eyes and you're really going to show up for that inner child. You're really going to listen to them. You're going to explain to them why they feel this certain way. Like, you know, I hear you. I feel you. I understand that you are scared. I understand that you're scared because this thing happened in your past. And I understand that you're worried you might be abandoned again. But let me tell you, I am here for you. I'm never gonna leave you. You can trust me. You can count on me. I will always be here for you. Like talk to that inner child. Tell them things that they need to be, that they need to hear. Tell them those things. Just tell them those things and feel that love, feel that self-love. Feel that care. Show up for your inner child. 
take care of that little child. And if they want to say something back to you, maybe they want to continue something like, you know, I know, but, but I'm still scared. And, you know, listen to that, really validate it. And tell your inner child that it is okay to feel whatever you're feeling right now, but I am here for you and you're not alone. This is a very powerful technique because when you're doing this, you might start noticing this sense of peace within. This sense of peace and connection, this love. And it is a very powerful feeling. It is extremely healing as well. This is one way of, you know, working on your past traumas and overcoming them and practicing self-love, showing up for yourself. Because if you want to see a change in your physical reality, you first need to change yourself. And now let's talk a little bit about changing your specific person and how this technique actually relates to that. So first of all, I want to say that you don't need to change your specific person you don't need to like go to them and tell them like hey you need to do this inner work or you're doing this you need to change like no 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 and you don't even necessarily need to imagine or meditate on on your like specific person changing you don't need to change them you just need to choose a different version of them and because there is no one to change but self, you don't need to change anybody. And that is also because this physical reality is only a reflection of your inner state of being. And another very popular Neville Goddard concept, everyone is you pushed out, which basically means that whatever you think is true about yourself is going to be reflected back to you in your physical reality people are going to mirror whatever it is that you believe to be true about yourself so you don't need to try to change your specific person like all those relationship advice advices always say like uh, like you should accept people the way they are and do not try to change them but when it comes to manifesting you can actually choose different versions of people like you don't need to settle down for that no that you got you can manifest something better so the technique that I shared with you before like the technique to show up for your inner child and really be there for them and really talk to them and make them feel better. Now, if you're having some type of limiting belief about your specific person, like, I am afraid that they don't love me anymore or they don't want to be with me because fill in the blank. You know, all these kinds of beliefs that you might want to ignore because they feel bad and you know that they are not supporting your manifestation. But don't just ignore them. Actually bring awareness to them and work on them to let them go. So if you have this belief about your specific person that they don't want to be with me because fill in the blank. You have that belief. Let's say they don't want to be with me because they don't love me anymore. So you can use the technique, that inner child technique that I shared with you, and you can actually imagine your specific person's inner child. And you can talk to that little child and be there for them. Talk to them like, hey, I hear you, I understand that you're scared and you're feeling like you don't love me anymore and that is okay, I really really understand you because I know that deep inside you're just scared and I understand you, 
you're scared because you don't want to end up being in a relationship where you don't get your needs met again. You don't want to be in that kind of unfulfilling relationship again. Maybe you had this thing going on in your childhood. You don't want it to repeat. I get it. I so understand you. But you know, you can trust me. I love you. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Like you can talk this way to your specific person's inner child. And you don't need to tell them like, hey, I talk to your inner child to change you or something. Like you don't need to try to change them or try to tell them things in this physical reality. Because all this technique actually does it is going to change your belief system about your specific person. Because if you're manifesting your specific person, for example, if you broke up and you're manifesting them to come back to you, that is your manifestation. If you do your practice in the morning and then in the afternoon you start feeling like, oh, I, I don't really feel like my specific person is here. I wonder what they're doing, maybe they don't love me anymore, and blah blah blah, all those, you know, useless thoughts, um, all those feelings and thoughts that are not going to help you to manifest your specific person. So you want to really become aware of the story that you hold about your specific person in your own mind and then you can change that story with these techniques that I shared with you like talking to your inner child and talking to your specific person's inner child these techniques and all these techniques are going to do they are going to make you feel better and they are going to change your belief system about your specific person and about yourself and about your relationship and eventually that new reality is going to be reflected back to you in your physical reality so that's it that's basically the technique to heal your inner child and change your specific person i hope you like this video if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover on this channel please let me know in the comments and if you aren't already subscribed don't forget to do that because on this channel we are manifesting our dream lives but for now guys i will see you in the next video bye